as the primate and bishop of Abuja Diocese, His Grace, the Most Reverend Henry Ndokuba, visited the Guduachi de Kinri, where he confirmed candidates and inducted women into Mothers' Union and Women's Guild. The program held at the Basilica of Grace Anglican Church, Gudu District, Abuja, had the President, Mothers' Union, Women's Guild in attendance, Mrs. Angela Ndokuba, the General Secretary of the Church of Nigeria, Venerable Dr. Paul Greshinen, and wife, Mrs. Michelle, the Supervisory Priest, Gudu Achidikimri, Venerable Oludario Toki, and wife, the Vice President, Gudu Achidikimri, Mrs. Temitayo Otoki, and other clergy and women leaders. The primate laid hands on each of the candidates, impacting the Holy Spirit upon them, empowering and encouraging them to manifest their God-given gifts. On the side of the women, he handed them certificates and also empowered them to carry out ministry of women in the church. When speaking to ACNN TV crew, Most Reverend Henry Ndukoba explained that this is the official way the church spiritually empowers the young ones and the women for God's work saying the empowerment will yield fruit if they would yield to God's leading. We have come to do what the apostles of old did, to pray for those who have been baptized in the water, that they may also be baptized in the Holy Spirit, be empowered so that they can live for the Lord Jesus and so that they can serve God and have power to overcome the temptations and trials of this world and as they yield themselves daily unto the Lord and the Holy Spirit walking in them through the Word of God, washing them, nurturing them, sanctifying them and in fact pruning them, they will be growing into mature manhood in Christ Jesus and be used of God for his kingdom. I'm believing God that in, in future, their ministries will begin to manifest. And as they walk in obedience with God in his word, God will bless them and there will be a blessing to the church of God. Thing with the, those admitted into Women's Guild and Mother's Union. And in some churches, we have also admitted into Girls' Guild and the Priceless Jewel. And um, we see there they are presented to the Lord and we have prayed for them and their families. That's why I asked their husbands to come so that they will know that it is not just about the woman, it is about the family. And in this time when the enemy is attacking the family so severely, this is the time we need to come out and stand in the promises of God and stand against the wiles of the enemy by the help of God. And as you may see, those families have been rededicated unto God. And we are believing God that as they rebuild their family order, as they nurture their family in the word of God, and as they find their place in the body of Christ, in the church, the church will continue to grow. Because the church is what the families are. On his own thoughts, Venerable Otoki says confirmation is the way candidates reenact the covenant made on them during baptism. In the Anglican Church, confirmation is the continuation of baptism. The baptism you are, you are baptized, whether as an infant or as an adult, you now complete it during confirmation. Confirmation means that you are reenacting the covenant you made with God at your baptism. Some of us, maybe when we were baptized, we were young. We didn't know anything, but we have sponsors, we have God parents who are training us. Now, what the um, covenant that was made on your behalf, the vows that were made on your behalf when you did baptism, is what you are confirming. And we can establish it in the Bible, in the Acts of the Apostles, when Philip went to, I think, Ephesus, and people were converted. They now call on the apostles to come and lay hands on them. And when they got there, they lay hands on them. They receive the Holy Spirit. So confirmation, we derive it from that place. And then when the bishop lays hand on you, normally you are supposed to receive the Holy Spirit. And we thank God for our primate, Henry Ndukuba, that is a spirit-filled man of God. And in our service today, you know it was wonderful. We can feel the presence of the Holy Spirit. 
So we pray that all those who are confirmed today, they will be established in the Lord in the name of Jesus.